Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim, where the load of mods installed. We're going to go ahead and continue our adventures with our Battle Mage character, and we're going to see what we can get done in this episode. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, heavy armor increased to 33. Oh, got another troll. Yep. Trolls be trolling. Go on. So are you. Go on. Ha! I got a crit. Oh crap. Okay, you got you got a crit. Okay, he's weak to fire. Oh crud. Okay, oh crap, we're out of magic. Not good, not good. Okay, stand on the ground. Oh! Ah, uh, we got trolled. You end up feeling that all they're doing is using you for their time of need. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of... That's that's the thing, you know. And Casper's too true. Mercer's dang. Ah! We did so, we did so well. We've not died for ages. We did so well. Then we got trolled. The troll is just like yeah 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 yeah. Troll 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 troll. All right, come on in, troll. Let's fight you again. Right, come on in. Wow. Okay, he took me down quick. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, ragdoll! Damn! He says, with Linux I can make a script uh, for the fix the problem, so I don't have to go over to fix it. Well, that's fair. Yeah, Linux is quite a tricky OS to use. Yeah, I can't get, I can't, uh, I can't destroy this guy. Why? Maybe, maybe it's I'm not fighting him on, even, not not fighting them on even ground, and they're able to like attack me above my shield. Uh, I did say type of feathers long ago, Scarlet. Yeah, that's fair. Right. There you go. Got a crit. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we're already taking some damage. Okay, turn, just turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around! Okay, go on more even ground. That's the problem with these guys, they heal. Oh! Didn't block. <laughs> Says that, well, there is a bow if you go up on the sidewalk. Eh, I could use the bow. I kind of like, I kinda like fight them head-to-head, -head, though, with, the, with this kind of build. Yeah. I, that, for whatever reason, that guy seems tougher than the other ones. How much magic? Okay, I got full magic. Hang on. Okay, I should be able to use some fire spells on this guy. Okay, so I got full magicka now. Okay, so then my stamina recover. There we go. Right, stamina's up. Right, here we go. So heavy armor increase to three. Here we go. That's right. Keep attacking him until he shows weakness to fire. Oh, yeah, he got some hits on me. Okay, he's weak to fire. Flip over. There. Got him. There you go. Perfect. Ha! Says, uh, well, when you got all the masks, you know now you can fast travel there. Yeah, if I get all the masks, we can do that. Alright, so that's that frost troll out of here. We can make our way up through here. I don't know if there's going to be any more frost trolls around here. But he's out. There we go. Yeah, that's that's the trick with them, because they're already weak to fire, but we don't have enough magicka to last completely. So we have to use our weapon till they get till it till it displays that they've been weakened to fire and then use it. 
But I think that's everything in Labyrinthian we can find, so... We is looking pretty good now. There we go. Yeah, if you go up top of the sidewalk. Yeah. Alright, so now we're done with Labyrinthian. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Okay, oh. Yeah, here one wolf down. Right, where'd that other one go? He's over here. Nice. Get down. There we go. Very good. Alrighty. How close up to me now, isn't he? No? Alright. Oh, no, here we go. Thank you. Alright, here we go. Um, there'll be a farmhouse coming up. Alright. A farmhouse coming up, you say. I don't see any right now, but I see a couple of potential good locations to look for. It's a cave here as well, nearby. So there's a cave over there, there's a ruin over here. There's a lot of stuff here. Oh, there's a glade over here as well. I think that's where Spriggans like to spawn. Um, Doug says, well, if it's just software, it's your driver, then I can just use TeamView to work on the PC from here. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. If it's like hardware stuff where you've got like, to go out all the way to get there kind of thing, it's like, hmm. See, oh, it's on my ass now. Okay. Oh, another troll. Okay. What are you doing? So another frost troll. Okay. Right. We know what to do. Oh, you know this is a regular troll, I think. Yeah, it's a bit smaller. Yeah, a pig, a pygmy hill troll. Okay. Burn. It was a tiny troll. That's hilarious. Ah, uh, troll fat. Okay. It's a couple of ruins over here. Um, why did your character sound, sound like Shrek? I kind of want him to say, What are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> okay. There's a ruin over here. Oh wait, this is that little graveyard place, isn't it? I I know what this is. There's a few skeletons around here, yeah. And there's a... Heh! Okay. Oh, an invisible one. Okay, oh! A restless skeleton, a restless skeleton guardian. Okay, got him. Play skeletons. Yeah, there's like a there's like a drawer right here. I think. Hang on. Heal up first. Okay. Oh crap! Where'd you come from? Crap! I didn't even see you. Go on. Then. Come on. Got him. Bloody hell. Yeah, there's a drawer in here, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, rest the drawer right there. Oh crap, okay, you're frost. No, 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 no. Got him. Oh! Okay, that was a bit tougher. I've helped my uh, my guildmates with add-ons for the Elder Scrolls and stuff like that. It's easy, because it tells you what is wrong. Yeah, this is true. Um... Monkey Game says, uh, when you follow the ghost horse. Alright, grab those. Grab that. Face hold jump. Thank you. Right, we got a, uh, oh, a master lock chest. I doubt we're getting in there. Unless that guy had the key on him, but I don't think he did, so. Probably not getting anything there. Oh, another one.
Get out. I think these guys are literally just spawning in, you know. Well, that's a good spot. This is a good spot to get the nightshade. I think there's like a, a random enchanted piece of gear here as well. Like in one of these. I think there's like, I think it's in one of these areas here. Yeah, look, there's a helmet there. Helmet of insight. Yeah, there we go. So there's a random enchanted helmet here. Okay, well remembered that one. What does that do? Hang on. Items. Iron helmet of insight. Uh, gain 3% more experience. Oh, that's not bad. It's pretty cool. Uh, Magnavot says, uh, yeah, when you follow the ghost horse to that location, uh, ghost rider. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's that little tomb done. Hmm. So now... You got a spire after me. Yeah, ow! Bloody sniping spider! God, just minding my own business and I see like poison fly by my face. <laughs> I was like, fine, I'll just run up to you and kill you. <laughs> Whatever. Let's get off my nose. Okay, Dustman's Cairn discovered. Can we go in this one yet or not yet? Yeah, we can. Okay, let's just go in here, clear this out. Uh, look, there's Max Fox. Indeed, it was me. All right, let's get down here. So, Dustman's Cairn. Uh oh. There's one. I'm gonna rest this one. You got him? Ha! Got him. Nice. Okay, not much in here. Let's see. Um, <laughs> Monkey Boy says, Fox Douglas says, uh, anyone know if the mod uh, Dances with Death is up to date for Skyrim and SC? Um, yes, I, I believe it is. I believe it is. I don't have it in this one, but yeah, I believe it. That's like the Kill Moves mod, isn't it? I think. I think that's updated to this one. So, Novice Lock Chest here. Let's see. And uh, Dazzle says, Get a Max. How you doing, Daz? I'm trying. Oh, hang on. Okay, more that way. Got it. Okay, let's see what we got this way. 16 gold. Nothing amazing. So it's in it just a just little um just a little chest and a couple of things here. Oh hang on. Battle of Sancrator. Gives me two handed, so that's not really gonna help me much, but still. Nice level book we can sell. Sell this in there. Just like literally a little tomb here. I have a feeling there's something like behind this. It kind of makes me think there is, anyway. Oh wait, do any of these things have a um, hidden area behind them when they open up? Because some of them do. Like you open, they open up, but then there's like a, a path behind them. But I don't think there is. This says a, uh, a lever in here somewhere to open. Because I, I reckon there's something behind there. Because it looks like that's a door that goes in deeper. Um, hmm. Let's see. Uh, Doug says, uh, "Awesome! It's the kill one. I think it works the sky UI. Yeah, I believe I believe it is, as far as I'm aware. Don't quote me on it, but I think I saw it when I was looking through mods. Hmm. There we go. Uh, how goes the PC building project? Says Daz. Well, says PC is all up together, so she is uh, she's sorted with that. So now I'm just kind of working on my own one." 
but yeah, Scissor Nine no longer together, so you know her PC build now is kind of independent of uh, is independent of me. But she does have everything she needs now to actually use a PC, so that's uh, that's something, which is good. So she is all ready to go. But yeah, I need to go ahead and try and uh, get myself a better PC at some point because yeah, the, uh, the the GPU I've got in here is pretty good. It's a 1660 Super, which is really good. But the rest of it is kind of what keeps it like lagging. I just need really what I need is just like I'm on a DDR3 board, but it's got a slow it's got a slow 6300 CPU, um, and I need a fast CPU essentially. But to do that, I need a new board. But then to have a new board. Um, I need, well, to get the new board, then I need also the new RAM, so it's not just a case of swapping out the CPU. Andre says, are you still friends? Yeah, we're still friends. We still talk and stuff, we're still friends, it's all good. Um, says, I'd love a mod where you can rebuild Skyrim, says Monkey Boy Gamer. Well, there is one called Helgen Reborn, uh, which allows you to, um, which allows you to do a load of missions to start getting, uh, Helgen done, and we will be doing that in this playthrough, because I do have it installed. And Andre says, cool. And how you doing, Andre, by the way? Yeah, still friends. We're still good. Mm-hmm. Hey. How you doing? Oh. Archer. Oh, is it just you? Okay. Aha! Got him. Got down. A bandit archer. What have you got? Give me that. Uh, oh, an orcish dagger. There you go. I'll melt that down for when I can an orichalcum ingot, which will work pretty good. Anything else up here? Not much up here. Okay. So Red Oran's Retreat. Right, anything else over here? Oh, there's a chest here. Hello. What are we going here? Um, are you Intel or AMD? Studios? Currently I'm Intel, but I'm using... Uh, no, sorry, uh, AMD. I used to be Intel. I had a, a 4790K in my old system back in the US, but um, that system has not come back with me, unfortunately, so I have to use this one, which is an AMD FX6300. Little triple core thing. It says it's a six core, but it's actually a triple core. <laughs> it just has six threads, but it's kind of different. It's like it's kind of, kind of, kind of snaky advertising there, but there you go. It is what it is. Right. So that's everything there. So now we go around the back here. Here we go. Right. Quick save right here. There we go. Um. Says so you do some job for people. Um. You do some job for people in White Run. Uh, okay. Ha, found you. Okay, Bandit Warrior, come on then. Oh crap. Oh bloody hell, okay. Okay, oh! No, 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 no. <laughs> there we go. So you're back home in the UK. Yes, I am. I've always been AMD since the, uh, since the Phenom 2. Okay, good thing I quick saved here, isn't it? What was that? Over here. There you go, one. Alright, there we go. Hey, <laughs> you're stuck. Go on. Then. So bandit chief. Oh, okay. This is not so good. Okay, I need to wait for her to get weak to fire, and I can strike. Okay. Now. Gotcha. Nice. Very good. Right, we got her. And I'm stuck. In 
I'm stuck in a rock. Ah, oh, do I have to do this again because I got st I glitched? Yeah, I do. Okay. Reload. Damn it! Uh, that happened. Uh, if, you, if you need to chat more to repeat sometime, let me know if it does. Alright, I will do. Okay. Come on. Oh, crap. Alright, you're down? Okay. Okay, one. Right, now the chief here. To die. There you go, now you wait to fire. Gotcha. Right, there we go, now we're not stuck. Yay! We're not stuck! There you go, and uh, there's, uh, I saw nothing. Yeah, <laughs> there's, uh, have you used up your nine lives yet? Says Dave, I think, I think I probably have. Yeah, I, tr I tried to crouch, um, tried to crouch monkey butt, but it didn't work. It just kind of kept me there, I was like, alright. So, just refresh, but it's okay. Yeah, we got, we got caught like there. It's like that little thing there that's getting me caught. Some kind of collider issue, but it's okay. Uh, what are we going here? Uh, twenty nine twenty last seed gives me sneak increase nineteen. Okay, works for me. All right, so oh, okay, watch out for that bear trap right in front of the chest. Elven boots. Okay, take those. Take this. Can sell it. Take that. Staff of Mage Light. The full light that lasts 75 seconds and sticks where it strikes. That's not bad. And treasure map 4. Okay. So a random treasure map there. <laughs> wow, I, 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 I flung that shield off her, didn't I? Okay, there we go. Orcish sword, I can melt that down. Steel cuff boots, steel dagger. Oh, a steel shield, I think that's better than what I got. That's probably what I want to upgrade to, isn't it? So that might be a good idea. Um says uh, he's on live at uh, he's on live 200 right about now <laughs> indeed okay hang on is there ingots down there no no ingots or anything there's a load of barrels and stuff there's not really much much good stuff in them uh okay let me see here anything okay so go to items and let's look at the steel shield now this one's a little bit better i think Oh yeah, it's much better. Look at that. It's like a, a whole new, whole new tier of shield. So that's favorite. Oh crap! I don't want to drop it. No, no, no! Come back here. I want that. Okay, hang on. I wanted to favor this and take off that one and put on that one, and then assign you number two. There we go. Ha! There we go. Nice. That's the cool thing. I can, uh, I can do power bashes with this, right? That's the cool thing. I can do power bashes, but then I can also use magic, but from behind a shield as well. That's a pretty cool little idea. Be like a shield mage, which is pretty cool. Uh, Douglas says um, the roll skill helps a lot when you get stuck like that. Yeah, I, that's that requires like sneak eighty or something, though, doesn't it? I think it's a really high level. Not something you can easily get straight up. Although I wish, because that would be nice. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so yeah, I guess we'll go and hit up Embershard Mine then. Um, because I did want to make my way and mine a load of iron so that we can get some stuff. Well, first of all, let me melt the stuff that we have collected in Wayron that I don't need anymore, and we'll go from there. And it says, hashtag, take that! So it says, uh, not sure, it's been a hot minute since I last played this game. Nah, it's all right, same with me. All right, let's go ahead and make our own Okay, so come on to, oh, come over there. Right, let's go and uh, melt down some stuff here. So we've got iron from a banded iron shield. Yep, because we don't need that anymore, so turn that into iron now. Uh, right, so we got Orcish War Axe is what I'm using. So Orcish Sword will give me Oracalcum. There we go. And then let's see stealing get from steel Nordic gauntlets. Yeah, get rid of that for the steel. And then we've got uh, steel cuff boots. Uh, wait, no, that's what I'm wearing right now. Um, and then we've got steel dagger. There we go. 
Get rid of those, very good. Okay, now I should be able to improve my shield as well. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? Uh Game Vampires? Where do I sign up? Ha! Huh. Ezron's going to like you. Go talk to him at Fort Dawn Guard, southeast of Riften. He'll decide if you're Dawn Guard material. Alright. And Douglas says, this looks like lol. Uh, is that a mod to smelt weapons and armor? Yes, that's, um, uh, um, I think it's called, uh, Ars Metallica is the name of the mod. Okay, so let's go on here. So I now should be able to go ahead and improve. Yeah, we, well, we got one more set of steel cuff boots, so improve that. And it gives me, like, one more point. Yeah, well, this is worth it, I guess. One up. Improve it. There we go. The steel cuff boots we can melt for another steel ingot as well. So let's do that real quick. So steel cuff boots uh, is there. Yeah, steel cuff boots. There we go. I've actually got three of them. So there we go. Hang on. Yeah, I'm still wearing boots. Yeah, because sometimes it takes it right off of you without you meaning to it for it to do it. And you're just like, wait, no. Okay, let's get leather made as well. Well, I got I got an arrow in my face. Hang on, wait a minute. I I, I want to see this in a second. Hang on. Create this item. Have I got an arrow in my face? Hang on. I don't claim to be. I gotta see this. Oh, oh, look at that. I've got an arrow in my eye. Just under the eye. Look at that. Damn. That's painful. <laughs> hashtag in the face. Uh, it says, I love Dawn God. I always go the vampire lord route. That's fair. Uh, hashtag nice arrow. <laughs> Visit the creamery while you're there, says Dave. <laughs> I could do if they have one. Uh, the, the white one creamery. This is the special brew from the Yarl himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, there's a, there, there is a way to remove arrows, I think. There's a, a magic spell we can use to do it. Uh, hang on a minute. I think it's under just general. Uh, the bound. Wait, those are active effects, aren't we? Hang on. Remove projectiles, here we go. There we go. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. There we go. That do it? Yeah. And there we go. No more projectiles. Hooray! That's much better. Uh, do you have the Do you have the rebuild when told? I don't know. Uh, I was just like crying, laughing. Does that disqualify you as an as adventurer? I used to be an adventurer like that guard over there. He took an arrow to the knee, and I took an arrow to the face. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I haven't got the the wind hold rebuild mod. So would you? Looking at me? What are you looking at me funny for, huh? Huh? You bitch. So I've walked past me just like, hmm. it's like, so are you. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to Riverwood. And then we'll go back to his, um, <laughs> Douglas says, is his eye missing now? No, but I nearly got a shot in the eye I can see out of, so, you know, there is that. Okay, so let's go ahead and skills. Okay, I'm, re I'm really close to leveling up. I'm so damn close. Crazy. Okay. Let's make our way to Embershard Mine. And we're going to mine some iron. Because then we can get more steel stuff, which would be really nice. So let's head back over this way. We might need to fight some wolves off, potentially. So hopefully we don't, but we'll see. Need hashtag bumshot. <laughs> In the bum. I think there's also some iron ore outside of Embershard Mine as well, but that's all good. Let's go and see if we can find where the entrance is here. Over here. Okay. Okay. Oh crap! Oh. Okay. 
Not this thing. I thought we were done with you. Got him. Yeah, take that. Stupid pig. What do you have on you anyway? You have boar meat, uh, boar tusk, gold, and Namira's rot. Okay. Well, Namira, I don't want any of your rot. Thank you very much. There you go. God, I thought, I thought we were done with these goddamn pigs. So I've not seen one, like, for, you know, a good couple of hours now. But nope, sure enough, there they are. Uh, right, so let's go F5. Do a quick save here. Just in case. Is it is another? Ugh, bloody wild pigs. Um, I'm going to say this. Hey, Max, uh, doesn't steel armor allow you... Um, slow you down like in seven days yes it does heavy armor does slow you down slightly but there's a perk that you can get that makes armor consume no stamina and be weightless which is pretty nice hey now, that's, a, that's a cool shield go on bandit warrior go on Pray to Stendar while you can. I see what you're doing you're bashing me now, eh? Come on. You're a fool to fight me. Oh, in the leg! Oh, you staggered me and I sliced your leg. Damn! There you go. Um Let's see, so Faze said, okay, so I'm back. Uh, my Battlegrounds uh, 3 game is broken, had to cancel stream. Oh no, I'm sorry, Vade. Um, and Unforgiven said, and Douglas says, uh, so where's the hidden lore? I used to be an adventurer until I took an arrow in the ass. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and Dave says, bummer. And uh, Mel says, oh no. <laughs> Douglas is just like crying, laughing over there. <laughs> What's this? Uh, a Bandit Dusk Dealer Shield. Huh, interesting. Okay, let's get the gold. Uh, I get the iron. Do I want the iron war axe? Or... Mm. I mean, it gives me one ingot, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not really worth it. I'll only start collecting steel stuff now. So, Ambushard Mine. Here we go. This is one of the dungeons, I think, that's also been overhauled as well. So, level up. Here we go. So, again, health. There we go. Health's at 200. Then I'll start working on Magicka. Next up, I think, but let's see what else we got here in one handed. Anything I can get yet? We're close to being able to get another perk in one handed. Heavy armor, we can't do anything. Okay, destruction or restoration, we can't really do anything in that field yet either. There's not really anything we can really spend our perks into at this point. Well, speech, hang on, what's in speech here? Um, can bribe guys to ignore crimes. Uh, saves an easier and intimidation is twice as likely to succeed. Okay. It's not too bad, so maybe that. What about in our other skill trees? Light armor doesn't do anything. Now we really need um I think at level 40 this one unlocks here, which is gonna be really good. Uh all weapon swing 50% faster. And critical damage is increased by 50% when wielding one or more one-handed weapons. Which is really cool. And a weapon master made a text game unique bonuses based on weapon type. These bonuses are listed with active magic effects, which is really cool. So there we go. Um, um, see the mod this moment would have been awesome for this play. Hmm. I mean, I could always add it. It shouldn't be a problem to add a new one. Let's see. Block. What have we got in here? That's uh, yes. That's just time slowing down. No, I want to go out this way and get the um, the accurate bash. So charges adept, you have a 20% chance to gain a burst of speed if an arrow hits you while you're blocking. It's not bad. Yeah, brutal bash is what I want to get. And then uh, retaliation, blocking attack has a 30% chance to trigger a 20% increase to melee damage for 4 seconds. That's a nice one. So, okay, this one actually continues down further now. Hmm, interesting. Time to end this little game. Come on. Oh, you want to shoot me, do you? Ha! Damn you! Right, he's down. One dead bandit. Yes, yeah, so Embershard Mine has been made a lot bigger, I think. So 
Oh, you're using Dwarven Arrows. Okay, so you're slightly stronger. Oh, and an Orcish Bow. Okay, I'll take that to, to um, melt down. Huh? Okay, that guy, whoever's... That guy who's mining will have a pickaxe on him, won't he? Oh, hello. Okay. Sure, have mercy on you. Okay, those ones don't know I'm here yet. Okay, you wait to fire. Okay, heal up. Back up. Okay, doing well so far. Um, it says, uh, um, where are you? Okay, so this guy had a pickaxe on him, I think. Or he was using one. Hmm, I guess not now. Okay. Where do you end up walking to? Okay, you're going around this way. Ah, uh, I know where you are. Worse. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Come on. Hey, shouldn't have fallen asleep on the job, should you, Mr. Bandit? Huh? Okay. Oh. Tell you what, you start running, so I can stab you in the back. Oh, critical hit. Nice. Okay, doing well so far. So Fade says, I sent in the ticket, we will see. Um, and, uh, Mon uh, Monkey says, right Max, i got to run. Uh, have a good one, take care everyone. Alright Monkey Bot, thank you so much dude for coming along. Hope you enjoyed it and hopefully we'll see you again very soon. So goodbye for now. And we'll see you in the next one. Okay, so. Grab that. Uh, this is the journal. Pretty much, the journal reads just like, "Oh, this uh, the, this this guy was uh, this guy was always complaining that he could hear creaking noise, like he could he could hear like the shifting of rock." Uh, we weren't convinced. Hmm. There's a hidden little area down here. Can't fit down there, but there's something down there. Wow, Ember Shard mine. Ember Shard mine is huge! Over here. All right, come on. Right, get that mage out of the way. Yeah, get the mage out of the way. Go on. Your kind no place here. Oh crap. Got him. Oh, that was lucky. That was very lucky. Whew! There we go. Um let's see. <laughs> Hashtag sleepy bandit, that's it, Melza. Okay. Yeah, I still gotta find out where the iron ore veins are. Okay, what's that? Uh, oh, a torch comes, we can take the torch off. Alright, it's coming through this way. Hmm, is there nothing over here? No, it looks like that will collapse over here too. Alright, just like, <laughs> just kick the skeleton out of the way. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> okay. So that goes back the way we came, so yeah, we probably have to go down this way then. Wait, is, it, wait, is this the way we go or not? 
Go and see what's down here. Anything behind the waterfall? Nope. Okay, so it doesn't there's anything down here in particular. So now we gotta figure out how we get up and out of here. Okay, well, heavy armor is increased. <laughs> Swimming in heavy armor increases your skill. So, yeah, let's go ahead and make our way up here. So, I'm guessing this is just like an optional area to visit, but it doesn't really lead anywhere in particular. So, we've got to go up this way. Oh, hang on. Okay, this leads back to another area. Here we go. Come on then. Come on. Oh, okay, you're gonna heal me. Come on. Puny that your best? Huh? Okay. Oh, got him. Ha! <laughs> In the back. There you go. Likey, like, like. Uh, 26 likes, still 15 watching. Wow, that's not bad. Considering this is not uh, the most popular game I play, that's actually pretty good for a stream, isn't it? And the chat's been quite active today, so thank you very much, guys. Very much appreciated. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. 28, 29, improving. Uh, here's the Vera back. Check her mum. Need to make sure she doesn't need anything. I'm going to kick her bum if she doesn't listen to that doctor. <laughs> well, that's the thing. She'd kick your bum if you didn't, so, you know, it's, it's, it's fair, fair game, right? Alright, so what we got here? Banner shield. Uh, what we got here? Steel, cuff boots. Okay, we can melt those for steel. Let's take all of them. Alrighty. So I'm guessing. Okay, as I get cell here. A depth locked cell. Okay. We might be able to do this. How many lock we got? Six. Five. <laughs> okay, maybe we can do this, I don't know. Okay, around here. A bit more. Got it. Okay. Alright, where are we now? No, no one's here. What are you talking about? Okay, alright, come back here. Okay, come on, bandit blight. What do you want? Okay, and it says, uh, and it says, uh, be steady if Mel's remembered to hit the like button. Mel no, said, hashtag, uh, I did, I did. Now it's steady. <laughs> Huzzah. Thank you very much, guys. It's very much for you. Oh, wait, I didn't think I, I didn't think I quick save from here, did I? No, I didn't quick save for a while. Dang it. Oh, well, never mind. Well, I guess we can explore the rest of mine as well. So there's a lever over here. Yeah, that bandit blight was a bit of a tough one. Oh, have they taken lever out here? There used to be one here. Hmm, I guess they removed it. Ah. I guess we can't get that way. See, so, yeah, so the only way to go is back. Okay, well, let's go and do kill these guys again. Nope, no one's there. No, nobody there. Don't look at me. Go on. Oh crap. 
I'm dead. <laughs> and this is a better way to go than the battle axe to the mouse. To the mouse, <laughs> exactly. Okay, well, yeah. Okay, so that that frost mage is what we actually got lucky last time and got the frost mage first. So. Yeah, that's going to be a bit tough. Right, there's the frost mage there, right. Okay, get you first. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Okay, back up. Yes, I can. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, quick save. Oh, I was lucky. Says, uh, <laughs> oh, that was, that was close. Okay. Uh, what have we got in here? A dance and fire v4. Okay, yeah. So there's nothing really much down here. So let's move on. So to proceed, then we go back to this first one. And then we just go down this way. Is someone there? No, no one here. Don't look at me. I'm a wheelie bin. Don't look at me. Okay. Oh crap. Oh. I'll show you what a real ah. Yeah. I was lucky. Okay, what have you got here? Okay, get all the stuff back over you. There you go, and lock pick too. Yeah! Alright. There you go, so, uh, Casper says the Elder Scrolls Skyrim Fest Edition, 70 bucks where I am, and the Elder Scrolls uh, Summer Model is 108 bucks. Damn! Wow, really? They're still charging that much for a game this old? Damn! That's expensive. Okay. Go ahead and wait. Right, there we go. So. Wait, I don't think I can quick save with enemies nearby, can I? No, I can't. Oh, wait, no, no, it did. It did. Okay. Let's see, maybe I can't do it. Okay, so the depth lock. Here we go. Okay, let's see if I can. No, a little bit to the right. Okay. So, like there. Got it! Aha! So, uh. Mercer says, hello, Casper! <laughs> and, uh. Andrew says, it's actually on sale right now. Uh, damn, damn you, Max. Now I want to spend my plasma money on Skyrim. This is what we're going. Oh, if it's on sale, pick it up. Okay. Hello! Okay, just try and get the attention of that one bandit because it was when I it's because I had two on me last time that it got uh, bad hello oh crap okay what oh, isn't oh in the neck oh right in the neck that was pretty damn good. Okay. Oh, you got a load of uh, poisons on you. We can sell this for a lot of money. Nice. Okay, so there's usually someone that patrols this bridge over here as well. Okay, give me that. <laughs> give me that. Someone there. No? I heard no one there. Oh, okay, you just came out of nowhere. Okay, uh, bandit trollman. Get back out this way. Okay, oh boy. Get out of the way of these arrows, hang on. Yes! Ha! 
says, uh, that on Steam? Says, uh, no, says, hashtag in the neck. Oh, crud. Okay, I just got a break. I think I just broke my leg. I'm not in good fighting condition right now. Yeah, I think my, uh, I think one of my bones, I think I just got an injury. Okay, right, stay here for a minute. Right, we're hidden. Can I wait now? Yeah, wait an hour. Let my uh, injury heal. Right, there we go. Okay, what we got here? So, an iron battle axe. Okay, how, what's my carry weight at? Uh, oh, wait, I can probably carry this armor, at least. That's 35, 234. 266 plus 35. Oh, that's going to be slightly over. Okay, I guess I'll get the gauntlets then. There you go, use that. Oh, AFK for 10. Cooking bacon is another. No worries. Enjoy your bacon cooking, and I'll see you soon. No, no one there. Come on. I'll kill you where you stand. Oh, you got an injury. Yeah. <laughs> Bandit Whisperer. Okay. Ooh, an orcish okay mace. Alright. Sounds good. God, lady, why were you using that? You'd have done more damage, damn. Okay, let's see what we got here. So, coins. Lots of gems and stuff. Very good. Uh, let me see. Random old chest with some more gold. Very nice. Okay, any other stuff in here? Uh, yeah, I need to find where like all these mining spots are as well in a minute. See if we can like mine up everything. Uh, tankard, plates. There's a hidden little area this way, where you can get to another chest down here, I think. Uh, oh wait, there's iron ore there. But I still I need a pickaxe to mine it, so I need to go find a pickaxe first. So that's not good. But yeah, at least we get twice as much ore now. Which is very good. So I think we might be able to find a pickaxe down here. So let me go and double check and see if there's one like around here or something. Well, we got some iron ore right there, so may as well take that. Hmm. There's an iron sword, iron great sword, light armor forging gives me a point in smithing. Nice. That's good. Um, let's see. So Casper says uh, candy with bacon and eggs, plus baked beans and tomatoes. Tomatoes. Uh, Douglas says uh, it's sixty-four dollars for me, but since I own Skyrim, I would have to pay thirty-one forty-eight for Oblivion and Morrowind. Oh, I see. So well, I, well, I played a cracked version of Skyrim, so I would have to buy the whole kit and caboodle. Yeah, that's the thing. If you've uh, if you've not got that one before, you would indeed need to purchase one. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we need to find a pickaxe. Because I did have one, but I accidentally smelted it down, so... <laughs> I got some iron out of it, but still. Wasn't quite meant to happen. Let's see if I can find out where we go. That's the only way out of Embershard Miners to come out that one way. Which I think it is at this point. Never should have come here. Oh, hello. Okay, you're a dual-wielding savage thing. There you go. <laughs> I just like swept him aside. I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> uh, Dollar says, "Just check my Steam account. I have 1,248 hours on Skyrim and 1,248 hours on Seven Days to Die, which is going to be the winner." Hmm. I don't know. Well, it all depends on which game you enjoy more. Uh, okay. M shard mine key. Grab those. <laughs> A hat. Steel dagger. Grab that as well. We are 291. Okay. Uh, why you not let me out of here? Uh, 
Okay, that's why. I was in the console. Eh, <laughs> never mind. Oh, we're in now. Whoopsie. Uh, okay. Let's go and see if I can drop anything good here. So we are 303 over, so I need to drop like three. All right, weights. Here we go. Organize it by weight descending. Uh, what's this? Steel Imperial Gunners. Okay, drop those. Perfect. All right, so we can open these. Open any doors. I think there's a chest back here as well, so. Oh, I find something here. Oh, hello. Um, spell tome for clairvoyance. Not bad. Which will actually be kind of handy. Uh, let me read these spell tomes actually. So, items, books, spell tome, spell tome. There we go. Because I can use that to see where I've got to go. Uh, there's a chest right here. Let's see what's in there. Casa says, um, yeah, it's dirt. This, I guess, it's Skyrim. And I haven't played uh, Skyrim since my Xbox days. So a day, a few years. This is ring back memories. <laughs> yeah, Skyrim Skyrim's one of those games you can just come back to. Stuff of the Flame Atronach. Hmm. So the Flame Atronach is 75 seconds wherever the castle is pointing. That's worth a lot, but it weighs a lot too. Hmm. Uh, Dwarven Gauntlets of Major Alchemy. Hmm. Well, that's pretty good. Can definitely buy that. Let me take this at least. Uh, right. So we might have to take some of this stuff. Yeah, this stuff we have to take. This is worth a lot. Um, we're over encumbered again, but this is worth a lot of stuff. So that's always good. Um, yeah. So we're going to be over encumbered either way. We look about it. So let's go and see what else I can kind of just turf out that I don't need. Because I could have a load of uh could have a load of stuff that's not necessary in here. Well, the torches we got on here, they weigh like 0.5 each, and I really don't need those, so... Let's get rid of those. So there's a couple of gems, lockpicks, a filled pezzel gem right there, which is not bad. Let's see what we've got in here. So, different keys. Well, do I really need all these books? I mean, I should sell them, shouldn't I, really? Uh, potions, they don't weigh hardly anything. It's maybe our weapons and armor that weighs the most, so let's see. What's the heaviest thing we have here? The weight of that mace is like 14, isn't it? Okay, let's drop the mace. Now for me, just under the limit then. There we go. Alright, so we'll drop that, put us underneath the limit. Gus says, uh, wanting to play this now. Damn! <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's the thing. I've been wanting to play it for a little while, and I was like, well, now I can get back into it, so. I did. That's exactly what I did. Okay. So if we come back this way, we should see a lever here to raise the bridge. And now we can make our way out. Okay. So we'll have to come back to Embershard Mine in a little while, but what I need to do is go and melt down some stuff for steel. Because I should we should find a pickaxe around here somewhere, because you know this is Embershard Mine. But if not, we might be able to make our own one as well. We might be able to just smith ourselves one again. But you never know, we might find one like outside as well. So that might work. Let's come outside. And let's see, so out here, do we have one like, is there one like just up, up against here? Because sometimes there's one just like laying around on the outside. I don't think there is, so yeah, we might have to smith ourselves a new one. Because he did change the layout of Embershard Mine slightly, so... The pickaxe most likely is no longer there. We got here we got a uh, wood chopping block. Uh, no pickaxe, it seems. Yeah, this guy just proudly laying there, just dead. Uh, let's see. Fade says, right, have to go again. Modding to do. Catch you soon. Alright then, Fade. Thank you very much for coming along. Hope you enjoy your modding, and we'll see you very soon. Alright, let's go ahead and sell some stuff to... Actually, let's go to White Run first and melt down everything, because Riverwood doesn't have a smelter. So let's go to White Run instead. Melt down everything here. 
Alrighty guys, well I think at this point so we're at a good point to go ahead and end off the episode. So I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. Thank you, you guys right. all so much for so watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Right, so let's go and I will see you guys and stuff in the next one. So, we can so get until then, a bye! Steel cup boots. There you go, steel war axe. I'm kind of using that one, so steel dagger, we can get one from them. Uh, steel imperial gauntlets. There you go. Let's see what we got here. Oh wait, I think that's the one I was wearing, isn't it? Oh well. Uh, Corundum or iron ore. Okay, hang on, we can get some steel from Corundum and iron. There we go. It's a little bit more steel out of that. Uh, steel horned helmet. Yeah, I'm not wearing a horned one, so can get rid of that one. Uh, steel war axe I wanted. What else we got here? Um, silver garnet ring, silver ruby ring. Okay, the orcish bow can give us an orc alchemingot. And the orcish mace can give us one as well. Very good, so smithing increased to 19. Two corundum ore. Uh, copper moonstone circlet. Eh, we can get rid of these. Um, yeah, we got we can get rid of those just to get some corundum ingots because we probably need them for other things anyway. So that sounds good. And then the only other way to get steel is from the war axe, but we're keeping that temporarily for now uh, until we can get the orcish one. So that sounds good because yeah, we might be able to improve the war axe beyond the orcish one at least for now. Let's go and get any more leather on here. Go okay, and get some leather strips. So. Yeah, a couple more strips here. There we go, 15 leather loaded strips. Okay, there we go, so that's all done. Let's go to Dragon's Reach, see if there's anything else we need to disenchant, because I think we got a couple of things in there. So let's do those. And we can't quite level up yet, but soon. We should be able to. So let's go over to this guy. Did you get off the enchanter? Come. It seems this damnable no. conflict has claimed get everyone's here. passions of late. Right, here we go. I prefer my books and my Right, so Iron Helmet of Insight, gain three percent more XP. Get rid of that one. There you go, we've got some uh, enchanting experience right there. This one uh, gives us uh, alchemy. And then this one gives us 10% uh, less damage attacks, so that's the undying. Very good. Cool. Alright, so that's all the enchantments done. And, I mean, we could probably get some really weak enchantments on our gear, couldn't we? Hmm. I don't know, what soul gems do I actually have? I actually just have a petty soul gem, which is... Not very good. Hmm. Because, yeah, what enchantments do I have anyway? So you got Cheat Death, 5% of the damage from attacks when you have full slow 25%. So if I use that one, it'll obviously. 8 potions will fall powerful, fortify destructions. Magic here regenerates 20% faster. That's useless for me as well. Weapons and armor can be proved 8% better. Uh, the armor is increased by 5%, uh, frost damage, black ice steals 10%, 3% uh, more experience. So I could, I could in, enhance my own armor with this, couldn't I? So, could do that, and then what can I add to this? So we could do it on like, this one? <laughs> okay, oh yeah, because it's a petty soul gem, we just gain, I think common soul gems give it, keep it the same, but petty soul gems make it less, but yeah, <laughs> gain 1% more experience. But you know what? Why not? Let's just do it. So get a little bit more enchanting XP. There you go. And we leveled up. Haha. -ha. Yeah. All right. So, what do we do this time? I think we'll start doing um, Magicka. We'll get Magicka and start increasing that to 150. I think we got two perks to increase at this point. So, let's see. With enchanting. What is that? What does our spice require? That requires 45. Uh, you can learn the spells of unique stays by using them. 
yeah, there's not much really here that we can do. Destruction. So apprentice cluster itself for half magic. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, can place two runes and triple the range. Five spells of 10% more health damage, 50% more stamina. Twice as much magic damage. That's not bad. Okay. Uh, Archmage. What does that do? These spell terms may be found on appropriate merchants. Okay, that's nice. And uh, what's this one? Uh, feedback. Uh, when you have a destructive spell ready, to enemies that strike you may they take elemental damage. Yeah, that's not bad. So there's a, cu there's a couple of interesting ones here. Like th this one is going to be great though. Shock spells deal 50% more damage. All spells cost 20% less to cast. That's a good one. Flowing current is really nice. And then this one is also really nice. Um, yeah, increases arm rating and frost resistance by 20%. So yeah, we can pretty much become really frost resistant in this one. Um, does alteration offer anything nice under here? Positive racial abilities are twice as strong, and you receive a second awakened version of your racial power that can be used every six hours. Hmm, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, sage alteration spells half magic. Let's see what comes up under alteration tree. Magic card spells never need to be recast. When not wearing armor, they're four times as strong and level alteration as if it were an armor skill. Hmm, that's pretty good. Hmm, Mystic Transmutation allows you to forge an arcane converter which can convert magic into soul energy for powering enchantments. Higher skill level allow the creation of more potent converters. Okay, so we can. Alright. Magic skills increase the duration of spells in each school by up to double. Each rank in a school reduces the cost of spells. In that school by 10%. Okay, so that's that's pretty. So essentially, if you get efficiency expert plus the thing in your school, you can cast magic for free, which is really freaking cool. Yeah, because if you think about it, you cast heart, you cast spells for half magic as an apprentice, right? But then if you get up to master in that school, that's 10% per rank. So you got novice, apprentice, adept, expert, master. That's five ranks. That's another 50%. So if we if we work up the alteration tree, then we can get free magic casting. Potentially. Uh, but that requires 75. That requires 55. Which is not bad, actually. New spell tomes. Okay, so that just gives you spell tomes. Uh, once every hour you're able to cast a ritual spell near instantly for very little magic earth. That's not bad. Oh yeah, I got a spirit echo. 10% chance of summoning a spirit echo in combat which drains health, magic, and stamina from enemies and returns it to you. Oh, that's nice. Atronarch. I was all 30% of the magic of any spells to hit. Yes, yeah, so, so alteration actually is really good for, for defending against mages and stuff. Like, that is actually really cool. Single cast spells are 15% more effective for each second spent casting them. Okay, so you can uh, you can charge spells, chain casting, destruction spells, charge with each spell, um, charge with each spell cast. A max charge dual casting spell allows you to cast double damage spells and no magic cost for five seconds. But afterwards, the charge will reset. Okay, so yeah, alteration actually has some really nice um, stuff to fortify destruction, and pretty much all magical schools in both cases. So that's actually pretty interesting. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we're gonna have to start doing some alteration as well, or at least get trained in alteration. We're not we're not very proficient in alteration at all because we've never used any spells in it. But you know, there's some there's some good stuff in here. So if we can get yeah, if we can get to alteration fifty five and get this thing, I mean that's gonna be that's gonna be really cool. Um, because that will reduce magic cost for everything. Huh. <sighs> okay. But is there anything else I could like perk into currently that I wanted to? I don't want to go into the slow time one in the shields. Hmm. There's really not much I can perk into. Well, light light armor I can. What does that do? Um. Horses you rise me fifty percent faster. Damage taken on horseback while or while sprinting is reduced by thirty percent. Well, actually, that's actually kind of handy. Even though we're not using light armor, that's a handy perk to have because yeah, if if horses move fifty percent faster when we get our horse. That's going to be really quick. Okay, I'll get that one. I'll get Nomad. Because that's actually really good. And under lock picking 10, what does this do? Bash locks. You may attempt to open locked doors and containers by bashing them. Alright, we'll do that.
yeah, that's actually quite a cool little uh, cool little perk to get. So yeah, we'll try bash locks. Um, yeah, pickpocket is yeah, light fingers, night thief, twenty five percent chance pickpocket is tired is asleep. Oh, extra pockets is good. Carrying capacity increased by a hundred and stamina is increased by fifty. That's a good one. So maybe maybe we need to look at pickpocketing as well. Damn. We might need to turn to the dark side, because there's some there's some bloody good perks over here. Honestly. Okay, yeah, so there's a lot of good stuff we can get. Okay, well we did manage to enchant. You should join the Mages College in Winterhold. The Mages College in Winterhold, you say? Are you sure I should join the Mages College in Winterhold? I have no idea. Hmm, well maybe we could, because then we can uh, we can get Tolfdir to train us in alteration. Which might be the easiest way to level it. Um, King claims is still streaming Fox India. I am. I mean, it says, if you only knew the power of the dark side. <laughs> That's the thing. Are you sure I'm not from the dark side? Because I always have cookies. Ah, I bet you the guys never thought of that one. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. I know, I know there's a little place we can clear in here from skeletons. So let's go down here. Because the Hall of the Dead has something in here. Let me see. There's a dude in here we can talk to somewhere. Unless he's gone home. Oh, he's over here. He's asleep. <laughs> he's asleep, but we'll wake him up. What's up? Tell me, do you believe in mighty RK, god of life and death? Well, yes, I am. A, I am a dark elf, so you know, uh, the god of death. I know him well. I'm glad to know that because I need your help. You see, I've lost something precious. Hmm. What did you lose? My amulet of RK. It's the source of my divine powers and also a sacred badge of office. I misplaced it in the catacombs. I'd look for it, but I have been hearing noises down there. I fear the dead have become restless. Without that amulet, I'm powerless to confront them. Would you be willing to search for it? Eh, sure, why not? I'll find your amulet. I'll just wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes the catacombs. <laughs> the blessing of RK be upon you. Let me guess. Yeah, yeah, j j just wait there, in bed, and make sure nothing escapes the catacombs. Yeah, good, good job, you bloody stupid priest of RK. God, well, I guess I'll play Skyrim too, Skinkling. Nice, dude. Douglas says, well, I'm going to head out for now. Someone is coming to get me for the PC job. Hit me up later about trying to come up with a mod list for Skyrim SE playthrough on Discord. Have a good stream. No worries, dude. Well, thank you very much for coming along, and I hope to see you very soon. I will just get you uh, streaming Star Wars The Old Republic, says Unforgiven. Hmm... Yeah, Missy was talking about that. Okay, oh hello. A bloody skeleton. Got him. Come on then. A skeleton berserker. Right, he's out. Okay, oh there's, oh, there's loads of them here. He's out. Oh, hey. Get out of here. Okay. Okay, oh! He's down, okay. Is that it? Okay. I think your amulet of RK is somewhere over here, isn't it? There it is. It's your amulet of RK, thank you. Hmm, so looks like skeletons can revive themselves now every now and then. That's pretty cool. Um, Amphibium says that it's free to play and I have multiple high level characters that I can help you with. Hmm, okay. Let's see, just a random skeleton there. Yeah. Slashy, slashy. It's a little bit more combat experience down here. 
All right. I guess she's asleep on you. You lazy bum. I spend so much time among the dead, I sometimes forget how much I miss the company of the living. Huh. Well then, uh, I found your amulet. Oh, thank Arkay. Please, take this gold for your troubles. Hmm. Well, thank you very much for the 15 gold. Okay. Thank you. The player does everything. <laughs> I know, right? All right, yeah, go back to bed, you, you nonce. Hmm. Any good books in here? Uh, biography of Baron Zaya. Myths of Shea Gorath. Hmm. Why are you reading about Daedra? Hmm. Something tells me you're not as divine as you say you are. Random priest of Arcade. Star Wars, the old Republic is like Skyrim, a uh, choice face, and you pick your path. Oh, that's cool. Alright, let me see here. Let's go ahead and make our way down here. Alright. God so, might get nervous. A man approaches with his weapon drawn. Let's see. Come down this way. I think now all we need to do is just do some mining from Embershard Mine. <laughs> Everyone's like, no shit, Sherlock. I was like, well, yeah. But yeah, we probably need to do some mining from Embershard uh, to get some more steel, etc. But I think, guys, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to quick save here. I think at this point, we're at a good point to go ahead and uh, end off the stream because I need to go ahead and make myself some food and stuff. And I need to get some stretching in because I think I've just been uh, going on a big old constant stream. So uh, don't forget to stand up and hydrate Max says uh, I'm forgiven. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing in a second. I'm going to go ahead and uh, end off the stream right here. Um, and then I will come back. Um, I might come back a little bit later for another stream. I might not, just depends on how I feel. Um, but yeah, it'll be, uh, if, if I do come back for another stream, it'll probably be a dev stream because I do need to do some more uh, dev stuff. Um... Oh, I see Fade's, um, I see Fade's, uh, Sims thing and then, uh, Kicks and Sandy as well. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, she got, uh, she's got some more stuff. Uh, Kingsman says, okay, Fox, have fun. And Dope Force says, cheers, Max, you're welcome, guys. Um, and says, uh, what? Dave just ordered coffee. And I says, uh, thank you, thank you, Max. <laughs> it's all right. Well, I'll probably be back later for some dev stream. Um, so I will, uh, come back then. And we can go ahead and continue with some Fennec Dev because I know I need to do some sorting out with that. And I need to also uh, disable these um, this game filter, don't I, as well. Um, I don't know if you can enable or disable them at will or whatever. So I'll probably have to just... Yeah, I can uh, disable it like this, I think. There we go. And I'll turn the game volume down just for me a little bit uh, for when I come back in seven days. I'll just have to enable it from there. And Tanya's just popped in and said, Giddy! <laughs> hey, Tanya. Giggity! Uh, <laughs> hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for popping by. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and end off here. But yeah, I'll be back later. I'll keep you guys posted in Discord what I'm going to be doing. Uh, if you haven't joined the Discord, feel free to go ahead and join. Uh, if you type exclamation mark Discord in chat, you'll be able to go ahead and get a link. And sometimes uh, Nightbot will post it automatically for you as well. So if you do want to come along and know what I'm up to, then go in there. I still need to get my schedule sorted out as well. Alrighty guys, well I think at this point we're at a good point to go ahead and end off the episode. So I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, bye!